Hi, my name's Jesse, and today I'm going to help you get started with Ableton Live 9. The first thing you'll need to do is to connect an external audio interface to your computer. An external audio interface allows you to connect microphones, instruments, and other real-world sound sources to your computer so that you can record them into Ableton Live. You can use Live without an external audio interface, but with some limitations. An external audio interface generally improves sound quality both to and from your computer, as well as give you more options, such as multiple inputs and outputs, as well as record monitoring capabilities. Most external audio interfaces use either USB or Firewire to connect to your computer. For this example, we're going to use an audio interface with USB to show you how. To connect the interface, plug the narrow square side of your USB cable into the port on the interface and the wide side into a USB port on your computer. Now launch Live and open Live's preferences from the Live menu on a Mac or the Options menu on a PC and click the Audio tab. In the Driver Type Chooser, select the correct driver type for your interface if not already selected. On a Mac, choose Core Audio. On a PC, choose ASIO. If these options aren't available, you'll probably need to install driver software before you can use your interface. Make sure you install the latest drivers for your interface. With some computers, you may need to restart Live or your computer after installing the drivers. Check the instructions that came with your interface to learn more. For PC users who don't have an external audio interface and have to use their onboard sound card, we highly recommend that you download and install the free ASIO for All drivers available online. In the Audio Input Device and Audio Output Device choosers, select the actual interface you're using. In this case, it's a Focusrite Scarlett 2i4 USB. The Input and Output Config buttons let you select which of your interface's audio inputs and outputs will be available for live to use. This may look different depending on the number of input and output ports your interface actually has. If you have a basic audio interface with two inputs and two outputs, these will be automatically selected in live. If your interface has more audio inputs and outputs, then you can select these as necessary. It's best only to click on those you need so you can save on CPU power. Also, you can choose if you would like to use the input and output ports in mono or stereo, depending on the sound source you would like to record and your audio playback setup. The default in-out sample rate is set to 44,100 Hz. These settings reflect the quality of sound recording and playback in live. 44,100 Hz is fine for getting started and represents CD sound quality. Using the chooser menu, the quality can be increased to higher settings depending on the audio interface that you're using. The buffer size is set to 512 samples. This value determines how much time passes between pressing a key on your MIDI controller and actually hearing the sound from your speakers. This amount of time is called latency. The lower the sample value is, the less latency would be experienced, however the more load you would put on your CPU. You may find that the default value of 512 samples works well for you, but it can be further optimized by lowering the settings. If you're working on a PC, you may not be able to change this value directly, in which case you may have to open the control panel of your particular audio interface. For more information about optimizing the audio preferences, please have a look at this particular video later at the end of the Getting Started with Live 9 series. First, make sure that your monitor speakers are switched off before connecting the audio cables between your speakers and your audio interface. Connect the inputs on your speakers to the outputs on your audio interface. If your interface has a volume dial, make sure that this is turned down to the minimum. Now plug your headphones into your interface's headphone port. Finally, turn on your monitor speakers. Now your audio interface and live are connected and you're ready to start. 